how do you see the challenges for global supply chains? Well, certainly the pandemic has meant a lot of challenges for, for global uh, supply chains. What happened was, of course, that the initial shutdown in China had a, a, a very short-term impact, but then because uh, China recovered so quickly, it actually was not a, a big problem in the beginning. What happened then was this huge stimulus in, in many economies uh, meant that the demand, the, the amount of goods and, and services that had to go through these chains meant that they became completely overwhelmed. And, and that's why we have had these huge increases in, in prices, on shipping, you know, the, these dislocations with some you know, uh, containers not being where they should be and so on. So all these issues are very much caused by the pandemic, but not so much because of the disruption of, of supply, but because of the very uh, large uh, demands that have been put on, on, on these global value chains. And, and of course, these global value chains have a, you know, a number of um, other challenges that, that they also will have to cope with. Uh, you mentioned geopolitics, and, and, but there are also challenges around you know, technological changes that may, you know, the increased use of automation, robotization, all those things. But yeah. the overwhelming challenge is the, the, the climate challenge, because mm. in, in terms of what, what's going to be produced, where it's going to be produced, how it's going to be produced, all that is going to be you know, determined by uh, the, these efforts to decarbonize the value chains. And these mm. firms that are in charge, they will be forced to um, implement this along the whole value chain. And, and that mm. is a huge challenge. I think the lesson from the crisis now is that this is actually much more difficult than, than we thought because these global value chains are based on, on uh, very close relationships. And they, they, in these value chains, tremendous amount of information uh, and very sensitive information is, is transferred. And, and that has to be built on trust and that you cannot uh, rebuild very quickly. And mm. also the efficiency pressures, the, the cost pressures in these supply ch chains makes it very difficult to have multiple supplies. I'm not saying that this will not happen at all, but, I, but, uh, but what I think is gonna be still true is that this reliance on dedicated uh, uh, relationships lasting over long periods, maybe decades, uh, mm. are still going to be very important. So. That is fighting against some of the things we have talked about, you know, about geopolitics, about uh, the technological changes and so on. So, so mm -hmm. it's just, I think that this is where we'll end up. We don't know right now, but my prediction is that we will actually see more of these uh, global value chains. And, and they actually also, I think, can be a very important tool for decarbonization because they, mm -hmm. you know, what the basis of these uh, global value chains are the ability of these firms to implement standards and, and rules and, and, and uh, uh, across the whole value chain. And you can do that with, by decarbonizing, by imposing a carbon price in these value chains and so on. And that's going to be, I think, the future.